Hi, my name's Sheila Tatum. This is my husband. Reggie. And we've been here at the Wayward Outreach a total of 13 years. Um, we've also been married for 37 years. When I first came to the Wayward Outreach, I came on my own, and we were just recently separated. And I was angry, bitter, and unforgiving. I remember the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me and saying, Sheila, do you want to be a heart, have a hardened heart? Or do you want to live in healing and forgiveness? And so, of course, I chose healing and forgiveness. And so I chose to forgive my husband of infidelity. Through prayer and counsel, um, I received peace and joy. And in that peace and joy, I began to serve in ministry and grow in my walk with God. I began to change towards the things that I was unforgiving about. And one of them was my son, Tate, who I began to love unconditionally. And uh, well, my son would come back and forth. He would want to spend more time with her than with me. And uh, we would talk about what he did when he was with her. And from that, it made me want that same love that she was showing him because I missed home. I, I, I left to, to find myself, to find a new life. But I, I found that my old life was much better than my new life. But the joy that I seen in my son when he, when he went to visit her, and he would come back to me, and I would be like, wow, what you do? And he would be so happy and so filled. And he would say that she took me to church and she did this and she did that. And so on her birthday, I went to her, went to the birthday party and all the people there was showing me love, you know? They were like, hey, this is Reggie. Hey, how you doing, Reggie? How you doing? And everybody knows my name, everybody knew, knew my story. And I'm looking, I don't know these people, but from them talking to me and, and listening to her, tell her the story, you know, that how we weren't together and, and I felt like this wasn't right and I needed to come home. And after he came home, um, the Lord put on my heart to just fill his love cup. And so I would make sure meals were cooked, clothes were clean every time he came home and I just took care of him. And he, at that time he would travel a long distance back and forth home from work and so we, we, we made a faith decision that he would no longer make those trips. And so as a result of that, his schedule changed. And then we went to the marriage conference again another year. And in that time, Reggie experienced a breakthrough. And from that moment on, I learned how to love my wife, respect God, and put God first in my life. And everything came better for me as a person, as a, as a husband, yeah. father. It's just that you know God did so much to me, worked on me so good that I never wanted to look back. I never wanted to, you know, go back to where I was. I never wanted to do nothing but serve Him. Right, and it works. So we've learned to put God first in everything that we do. We're committed to each other. We've learned to forgive, and, and Reggie's earned my trust, and so I thank God for that. And so uh, we also have a marriage class that we have on Sundays that we've been doing now for three years. We've been going to the marriage advance for seven years, and we're also on that core leadership team. And so we're excited about what God is doing in our lives together here at the Wayward Outreach Church, and we love our church. And we thank God for the ministry because it changed our lives.